Check out this amazing prompt. Now check out the insanely creative and realistic AI images that this prompt creates. Today, I'm gonna show you one of the most simplest ways to get one of the most impressive prompts you've ever used. It will create some of the most unique, creative, and realistic AI images you've ever seen. And to begin, it all starts with one simple question, but it won't stop there, so make sure you stick around, because then I'll show you how you can turn it into a powerful prompt generator that you can use over and over again. And so the first question, it's gonna be quite simple. It's this right here. When I enter this prompt in the mid journey, it creates some of the most realistic AI images I've ever seen. And so what prompt am I referring to? It's this very basic and simple portion right here. Simple, the most realistic image in the world. Help me come up with more things to say to get the same results. Then pair those with specific subjects. And so what this strategy can do is actually gonna be so powerful for your AI images in the future for both extreme realism and creativeness. And so for an example, you can see right here. Now, right now I'm in my new prompts portal, specifically the cheat codes and the realism section. So if you have access to this database, and even if you don't, there'll be a link in the description so you can get access to it as well. But but even if you don't, any prompt I share today are always 100% free via the links in the description. We just added a brand new database to the everything bundle. But if I come back over here, now to the right of this cheat code realism tab, I have what's called keyword MVPs. These are where I am starting to populate some of the best keywords to create some of the best and most realistic style AI images. It's gonna take the best of the best and that's exactly what I'm about to show you today. A meta token secret that many people may not share with you but here at this channel, I will. So let me show you exactly why this is so good. Now, right away, here is that first question I just showed you, okay? When I enter this prompt, meaning the most photorealistic image in the world. Now, if I take this same exact portion right here, okay, and I simply copy it, and let's say I now head over to two of my favorite AI image tools. We're gonna go with FreePick, specifically Mystic 2.5 Flexible. In addition, we're gonna go to Midjourney as well. Now, if I just simply paste that prompt in and nothing else, just this, watch what happens. I'll generate it here. Here. I'll also generate the same exact thing in the free pick. Now, one of the things when we use this method, obviously we have no idea what sort of subjects that we're gonna be getting. That's the beauty in this because you're gonna get a complete surprise. But here's how we take things to the next level. Now, while these are thinking, we'll come back in a second and see what these got. But in the next section, if I come back in the chat GPT, look what we're first going to get. Okay, now after I pasted this simple question in, it says, I'll give you a full set of alternate realism boosting phrases. Because what such a simple process can do, it really is good almost to an embarrassing extent. But look at this right down here below. So from this first question, here are variations you can swap in for the most photorealistic image in the world. Now one thing I want you to keep in mind, I would highly recommend swapping out the word image with photograph as well, okay? Because based on these keywords, which words do have a lot of meaning, sometimes you may get a sketch, a drawing, or a 3D render. So I would try them both. So if I go back in the mid journey, now look what I get from the first series. I mean, all four images, incredibly realistic. I'll paste it in again, but instead of saying image, I'll say photo, and now in free pick, look how amazing these look. Incredible, very simple, the most photorealistic image in the world. We'll do the same thing again and replace image with photo like we just did in Mid Journey. Now again, this isn't the end of the strategy. This is just the beginning. Now you can also do something else. If you want a specific subject, you can say the most realistic photograph in the world, put a colon and then put like supercar, whatever you want, that works well. But I've already covered that before in other videos. What I wanna do now is instead of giving you a fish, let me show you how to fish. That way you can create your own set of meta tokens and prompt generators for the future. Now, what we're gonna do right now is, here are all the variations that we just got. And then I'll show you a few images of what these realism triggers actually created. I'm a prompt star and a prompt queen.
So we may be thinking to ourselves, okay, we're all done. Well, not yet. Now, depending on what ChatGPT has memorized with you and your conversations, it may not ask this question. But for me, as we scroll down, the next question ChatGPT asked me is, want me to build you a reusable meta prompt generator where you just drop in your subject and it auto pairs it with these realism triggers plus camera lenses metadata for mid journey. If you don't get this question, no problem. Ask this in your next follow-up conversation. You're going to say, based on our conversation, provide me with a meta prompt generator, aka a prompt that creates prompts that I can use over and over again based on any subject that I provide. That's going to do the exact same process I got in this portion of my chat right here. Because look at this. Once I said yes, look at what I got right here this insanely good meta prompt generator. Now, this is one that we're gonna actually test in real time. Okay. But as I scroll down and based off of my follow-up questions, look at everything I was able to get in this one powerful chat. Now, I get all these prompts right here. As I scroll, it asks me, do I want this or that? And I just say yes every time. And I get another prompt generator, okay? A master realism comparison one. This one is exceptionally powerful. Now, if this doesn't make makes sense, no problem. I'll show you how to do this right now in real time. I just wanted to show you the bits of amazingness I actually got with this. Okay. Now the other thing you can do is it says right here, do you want me to actually generate a full set of 10 prompts? Okay. So when you answer the questions, you're going to get whatever you want based on those meta tokens, but let's go ahead and start this process from scratch. But before we do, let me just show you very quickly what that most recent prompt generator provides you with when I just got this. Okay. So if I go ahead and paste this in, this is going to be the comparison one. And now it's going to say before generating, what's your subject. And when it comes to doing some test runs for AI realism, there are going to be a few categories that really work well. One is one that's going to be saying a woman. The reason why I always say woman or the reason why I always show these in my videos is because when you say woman as opposed to a man, etc., you can really, really assess the realism because automatically these AI tools, when it comes to a woman, they're going to apply like makeup, more close up angles, some jewelry, sunglasses, a lot more accessories compared to other images. That way it allows me to really dive in and see how detailed and good they are. But I also like using this one below the view of earth from outer space. And I also like to use a supercar. Those three topics are going to give you a good test run to see what kind of realistic levels that can be achieved. And now right away, it's going to go ahead and give me these 10 ultra photorealistic ones. Each one will be paired with a different realism trigger and cinematic details. Okay. So now let's go back over in the mid journey and look at these other images we got. Again, look how insanely realistic all of these look. Even this one with this dog, with that bokeh effect, amazing. Let's see what Free Pick gave us. Back in Free Pick, look at this right there. A cat and scenery. But again, we're not stopping here because we want to get prompt generators for the future. So let's go ahead and begin this process from scratch. Let's go ahead and start a brand new chat. There is that same exact question that we've been going over. And now just like that, we're going to go ahead and see what sort of elite realism triggers it's going to go ahead and give us. Now, the cool thing about this is that usually I get a different one every single time. So you could even do this over and over again. You could even use other LLMs like Gemini, Claude, etc., and it may even give you different ones. But look right away, 15 amazing AI meta tokens to use for insane levels of realism. Okay. Now, as we go down here below, it's going to give me some very simple prompts that I can use. All 15 of these give me 15 separate prompts. Now that's just the starting point. Remember, we ultimately want that mega prompt generator, but now as we scroll down here, we have it. Do you want another batch? What I would recommend is saying yes. And it also gives you specifics, faces, models, emotion, etc. These tend to push mid journeys real even further. So let's say that let's say faces and models and get even more prompts to use. But then when this is done, let's go ahead and have it create our mega prompt generator to use over and over again. Okay. Now, just like that, look at these, I get 10 more meta realism triggers and I get the prompts to go with it. Now it's going to give me another question. We're going to skip this one because now I want to get that meta prompt generator 
to where I can use it over and over again. So let's go ahead and input that right there. Remember I said, based on our conversation, provide me with a meta prompt generator, a prompt that creates prompts that I can use over and over again. Once I submit this, it's gonna give me everything I asked for and then some. We can even take it to another level from here, okay? Now look at this. Below is your universal meta prompt generator. And now here it is. So as I go down and it's giving me everything, it's gonna split it up and give me the details on what everything can do. Now it may not be a full prompt yet, but it gives me this output format for each of the 10 prompts. That's not what I want. So here's what we're gonna say. So this is the long prompt right here. If it comes up with this, say this down here below. Just say, give me the prompt generator in one long paragraph. That way you can just simply copy and paste it. And then depending on what it gives you, like this one right here would work well, but I don't want to have to locate these brackets and replace my subject. So the next thing you can say, add one more sentence and say, the first question you'll ask me is what subject I want. Now you're gonna get exactly what you were wanting. Now again, this all depends on your history with the LLM, but these simple questions will allow you to get everything. And now just like that, here we go. I had to ask it one more time, give it to me in one large paragraph form, but look, it did it right here. Now all you would have to do is copy the whole entire thing once this is all done, which let's go ahead and do it in real time. Hit that copy button, and now let's open up a new chat. With the new chat opened up, now go ahead and paste the whole entire thing in. Now one thing to keep in mind at the very end, I would recommend if you're not gonna use Midjourney, go ahead and remove that last portion, okay? And now look, there's that prompt generator. The first question, what subject would you like me to create a hyper-realistic cinematic image prompt for? And I'll get a little bit more creative by just saying a 24-year-old woman, fashion model, she's gonna be walking in an interstellar otherworldly world. By giving a unique subject like this, it should really allow me to test out the realism. Now here is the cheat code down here at the bottom. Now. After I pasted in my initial prompt generator, if you say this, you're gonna be blown away with what you get moving forward. Based on my initial prompt, create another one even better, a meta reusable prompt generator I can use over and over again for any subject I provide. Make sure the prompt received contain the best meta tokens in the world for image realism. Watch this. Here is your master meta prompt generator template built to be reusable for any subject that you enter. And now as it goes down, it's gonna go ahead and provide it for me right here, which again, we'll go ahead and copy and paste. And then it's gonna go ahead and give me the output, an example output right here. And if it gives you a template instead, you can also ask this question. Instead of a template, make the prompt generator first ask me for my subject every time I use it, okay? Now it's gonna rewrite the prompt, and now you can do the same thing by copying it and pasting it. It's gonna ask you for your subject every time you use it, then just say supercar or anything else that you want, instant mega prompts with those meta secret tokens. And before we conclude, just look at the amazing levels of realism that I got right here. And when you convert these to video, they're gonna look even better. you guys think in the comments below how successful were you and what sort of meta tokens have you discovered that you want to share with everybody else i love to hear what tokens you got and again if you like this video please remember to hit that subscribe button i'll see you next time hit that subscribe because i'm a prompt star coming